Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has been rolling out Windows Copilot for Windows 11 using a controlled update and rollout. And it's slowly rolling out to devices and is quite limited, especially in the European Union, the EU, due to the Digital Markets Act DMA requirements. Now, I have seen a couple of comments on the channel where uh, viewers are asking how they can enable Copilot if uh, they do find themselves in a region where obviously the feature hasn't been enabled yet in the OS. Now, although the Copilot feature is not enabled, um, it seems that Microsoft has already rolled out the feature using Windows Update with um, updates over the last couple of months, but basically has restricted or not enabled it in certain devices that find themselves in different regions, mainly in the European Union, the EU. So if you do find yourself in one of those regions, this is something you can try to basically force Copilot to open if you would be interested. Now, I can't guarantee that this will work 100%, but it's worth a go. Obviously, if you do find yourself in one of those regions and really want to use Copilot and it hasn't been enabled yet on your device. Now, what I would suggest with this first is just make sure that your device is up to date. Um, so you've got all the latest patches and features that have rolled out, then I think there's a better chance that this may work. So what you do to um, enable Copilot, if it hasn't been done so already, is you right-click on your desktop, head to New Shortcut, create a new shortcut. Now, in this location, what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste this into that target and that location and I'll leave this down below because that's quite a mouthful and you can just get that in the description for easy access and reference. So you pop that in, paste that in, click on next and obviously you can call this anything. I'm just going to call it Copilot. There we go and then you click finish and now you've got this little edge Copilot or whatever you've renamed that shortcut to on your desktop and then Using that shortcut, we can just double click on that and that will launch Copilot. And as mentioned, I can't guarantee that this will work 100%, but give it a try, obviously, as a good plan B if um, the Copilot hasn't been enabled yet on your Windows 11 device. And then obviously to close it, you can just double click that again, or you can double click on that, or you can just head to the top and X out of Copilot. And you can place this anywhere on your desktop at this stage. Um, I'm not seeing any options for this shortcut to be pinned to your start menu or your taskbar. Um, we can try dragging it. I don't think that will work. No, it's not because that's not a feature available uh, in Windows 11. And if we head to if we head to um, show more options, so at this stage though, um, there doesn't seem that there's any way possible to pin it to your taskbar or your start menu. But as mentioned, it's a good plan B. If you do find yourself, as an example, in the EU, um, due to the Digital Marketing Act, where that um, this feature Copilot hasn't been enabled yet on your device. So try it out and um, let me know in the comments if it does work. I'd be interested to know. Obviously, I am in a region where Copilot is enabled. And uh, um, I just want to double check, obviously, that um, this is a fully functional kind of workaround. And let me know in the comments if it does work for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.